This is a Honer Special 20. It's in the key of E flat. I'm playing a B flat blues. You are going to see these uh, interesting covers. This is a turbo lid. Uh, probably 12 years ago, I bought a few turbo lids for my Special 20s. Um, I wanted to talk about the there's a similarity between blues and b flat on the chromatic and on the diatonic and and the basic thing i want to show you is that we have uh root third and fifth are all draw notes on the diatonic cross harp in with this key harp that's root third fifth third root and on chromatic all draw notes funny thing about uh, playing in the key of B flat on a C chromatic is that you do have to skip a hole to get to the major third. So we're jumping from hole three to hole five. And on the diatonic, obviously, they're all right next to each other. So I was, um, I've recently released a new uh, harmonica method. It's, it's the same harmonica method, but it's phase two of it. It's volume two, uh, improvising chromatic harmonica for the modern musician. And I was teaching the blues and B flat lesson and I wanted to show this basic principle, but then I also got into this thing that I didn't intend to get into, which is bending notes on the chromatic. And I want to show you this. First of all, let's talk about the keys on the chromatic harmonica that feature a lot of draw notes. Uh, if, if you come from blues harmonica world, there's a certain comfort and familiarity with keys that feature draw notes as root third, fifth, or at some combination, it, at least maybe like the third and fifth are draw notes. In this case, all three are. Uh, there's something familiar and, do I want to say comforting about that? A lot of players are, are drawn, no pun intended, they're drawn to the key of D on the chromatic. That's another key where it's all draw notes for the root third and fifth, major or minor third. Key of B. There it is. Major or minor, root th third and fifth are all draw notes. And that kind of stuff I just pay attention to. If I'm studying different keys on the chromatic, it's something I want to know and be aware of and then pass on to my students. Um, in the process of recording the blues and B flat lesson, I started to say, well, hey, not only are these draw notes, but let's talk about a kind of familiar feeling thing of wow you can do that on the chromatic harmonica in a weird key the key of b flat and you can bend that fifth so that is really bringing over a diatonic harp feel and attitude to the chromatic. And there's another technique, uh, we call this the warble, of course. Can't do that in every key on the chromatic, but you can do it in B flat. And you can do it down an octave. And you could do this one, the major third to the fifth. You can do that one down an octave too. So, um, and you could add the bending thing too. Sometimes I will do a slide grace note and a little bit of a bend. But um, there's a grace note on the root with a little bit of a bend on it. So, um, 
So, uh, my objective is to not constantly try to imitate a diatonic harp because the chromatic has its own cool thing, slide ornaments and grace notes, turns, uh, that you can't do on a diatonic harmonica. Um, and there is a, an ease of getting all of the... There are no missing notes. You can get all the notes. So you could play... So uh, that's... Sometimes I wish I could do that on diatonic. And then I think that's an overblow, which I'm not going to attempt right now. So, anyway, uh, chromatic and diatonic. I am not a chromatic harmonica purist. I play both, and, um, and if I was honest, I would say that if I was invited on stage to play a blues, and it was a nasty shuffle, Chicago blues, I would play and prefer the diatonic harp, but I can't think of a better exercise to learn the chromatic as a modern musician than to study the blues in all 12 keys on the chromatic. And Gregor Marais agrees with me. I heard him say that in an interview. I want to someday grab the actual quote that he said. Uh, I was like, yes. Um, and I almost jumped off my seat. You know, like the people watching sports games with the bowl of popcorn. And they jump off the seat and the popcorn goes flying like that. Let me do a commercial for Volume 2. Um, it is done, and it's available. Uh, and I um, I don't know how much I want to advertise the DVD part of it. It's a streaming course on the Internet. Uh, but I have a handful of customers that are like, I don't want to deal with logging in. Can you send me a DVD? And so uh, I'm duplicating my own DVDs, printing my own covers. Otherwise, that would be orange. Volume 2 is orange. Volume 3 will be blue. Volume 1 was gray. Um, but uh, just so you can see something physical here, um, this has kind of new and improved visual aids, and I am actually have harmonica tablature in the lessons popping up on the screen. Uh, a big improvement from Volume 1. Volume 1 is awesome because I'm just kind of like, talking to you like, hey, it's hole two, check it out, or, you know, volume two is like, hey, it's hole two, and then there's like a number two with an arrow blow note, or, you know, do you use the slide or not, so uh, I have a lot of things to say, I'm going to try to cut this short and try to be brief here, so uh, volume one, on the other hand, I had these professionally duplicated, and I have probably 850 sitting in the garage. So these are permanently on sale. Volume 1 DVDs. I would love it if some people ordered these, and I could reduce my inventory a little bit. These are permanently on sale. These are at the regular price. Uh, if you do want a Volume 2 DVD, be aware that I am duplicating the discs myself and labeling them by hand. Uh, it's just the best that I could do. I didn't want to order a thousand copies, which seems to be the minimum number if you want to have professionally packaged. These are shrinked wrapped. This one's not. So I uh, hope everybody's doing good. I hope you learned something about a little bit something about blues and B flat on the C chromatic. If you want to learn more, uh, you could sign up. It's super bargain price. I don't know how many hours of instruction. I think at least four hours of instruction uh, for um, a very reasonable price. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later.